from the sandy pitches at the Indafa Park to the green fields and flat lies in Turin, in Istanbul, and to Vovodina, where the career came to an end, we saw Steven Appiah lead the Black Stars to the FIFA World Cup. That journey started on grassless pitch. Many say he's the man who redefined the Black Stars, what it meant to wear the Black Stars colors and represented the country, qualifying the country to the first ever FIFA World Cup in 2006, qualified the country to the 2010 FIFA World Cup, was part of the backroom staff for the 2014 World Cup. But one thing we all know is the light we see, but do we know how or where the switch was turned before the light came on for everyone to say it? We have no idea and he's only the perfect person who can tell us how his life came to where it is now that he's idolized by many people stephen appear former captain of the black stars is my guest today on prime take capito how are you i'm fine yourself i'm doing good <laughs> i've not seen you in a long yeah, while i can see that you are really doing good <laughs> you are looking fly <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> you see there's one thing that, uh, it's that there are many things people don't know about you. Yeah. But one of the things two people don't know about you is the fact that it is very difficult to get you or very rare to get you to speak. Yeah. Today I'm here. <laughs> I'm in front of you. <laughs> so what yeah. are the other things that people don't know about you? Oh, the other things. I think people know everything about me, but uh, most of the things I think, I mean, my chocolate days, people doesn't know. I mean, people saw me playing for Accra so folk, from Accra so folk to under 17, under 17, under 20, and moved to Europe. And my career, that's where people know, but there are certain deep details that people doesn't know. What are they? And some of them, I think that I have to keep it for myself because definitely one day I will write my book and uh, I, will, I will put them in. So it should, it, should, it should be a surprise, but I mean, I have certain deep 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 details even though when when i mentioned i'm i was born in choco grew up in choco and when you know that environment environs you have to know that i mean i've come i've come a, from a long way it wasn't easy but yeah i am at least legon how would you describe that that foundation uh how do i describe i think um I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to say that I've done well. I've done well. This is a place that I grew up and people that you roll with were doing all sorts of things. But um, I never allowed myself into, into those things. And I said, okay, what I want to do is to play football. So I channel all the energy into football and then uh it, it works for me but i think that i've done what i quite remember the choco days when as a kid you wake up in the morning 4 30 you have to run to kanishin kanishin market the inside the ins inside kanishin market they have these stairs that you have to climb from there yeah. you have to run to circle they have the stairs there from circle you have to go to the um motri road to the beach so i mean these are the sacrifices that uh, i did and uh it works for me Growing up, I come to realize that whatever we do is, is, is the passion and, and, and the hard work that takes you to the top. And that's what I did. Talk to me about the days of playing at Indafa Park. Yeah. Um, okay, so I attended uh, St. Martin's School. And those days, it was very, very difficult for, for, for me. I mean, at times, as a kid, you go to school without no food. You go to school without money. So um, one day I was on my way to school. I walked from uh, Choco to um, White House. And um, I was on my way and I met a friend called, uh, now he's a musician, YZ. Oh, really? Yeah, YZ, they were, they were very, very rich. And I met YZ. YZ was like, Stephen, uh, are you going to school? I said, yes, I'm going to school. He said, no, no, no. Um, we shouldn't go to school today. I mean, follow me. Let's go to Salvation. I've never been to Salvation Park. It was my first time. So he said, let's go to Salvation Hammy Park. When we get there, I will buy you rice and beans. As soon as I, sorry, uh, uh, beans and plantain. Yeah. As soon as I heard Is it your Yeah. <laughs> Gobe. Gobe. As soon as, as soon as, 
I had right, uh, sorry, uh, this and planting. I said, Hey, I have to follow Daniel because myself, I don't have anything on me. So yeah. I followed him. We went to Salvation Army Park. We saw some kids playing football, and Daniel know that after schools, we at times we we played in the premises. So he said, Stephen, I know that you are a good player. So join the guys. I took off my school uniform, I put it in a plastic bag. We hid it under uh, a bin. So we know that at that time, if you, uh, if you go home without your school uniform, you get lost. So uh, we hid it and then I joined the guys, uh, the kids to play the, um, the game. When we were playing, there was this man standing like 25 meters from where we were playing. So when we finished, he said, oh, you're a good player. Uh, we have a coach team at Indafa. Can you join us? And I said, oh, okay. I would love to join you, but you have to come and talk to my mom first. So uh, he came and then my mom was like, no, 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 no. He has to go to school. And that time I wanted to play football. So um, one day I find my way to Indafa because where I live and Indafa, my probably Indafa Park is, is a bit far. Yeah. And I was a kid then. So I find my way and then I showed myself at the training grounds. I had a chance to play for under 12 and then under 14 when i was playing under 14 i was doing so well that when i play under 14 games they were i were under 17 jesse oh, so okay. i had a chance to play under 14 and then under 17 at times i would come and play five minutes i'll come and play 10 minutes that's where it all started capito uh, how many siblings do you have i have i have yeah we are four i have another brother and two sisters and who is the first born uh, i'm the first born so you're like the father of course i am i quite remember choco days i mean you are staying in a small small room and where at times i have to i have to make space for my 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 siblings so you have to go and sleep under the bed and then under the bed you know that you find certain things there which are not uh, uh cool i mean the cocoa cheese the rats and all that so uh that, it, these things it comes it comes with it i mean being the first one you have to do a lot of sacrifice and today i'm happy that my, my my siblings they see me and then they are very very happy that he started and then i mean now we are all seeing him happy i saw a video that you posted on social media when you went back to to choco this was up like so many years ago and i could imagine the emotions yeah of going back to the roots yeah so um uh, yeah i saw the video came back i think three days ago as oh, when okay. i went to visit um i mean there was a table tennis game so um, um professor kofi abuchi invited me oh, okay so okay. we went to choco and then um i have to go there to mentor uh, the kids and okay. where i didn't know where they were doing the program but when i got there i realized that it was the same peak place that i learned how to play football oh really yeah, 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 yeah. so i was very 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 emotional. emotional yeah very very emotional because i mean taking my mind back when i was a kid when i was trying to learn how to play football this is the pitch and then i didn't know that that's where they were doing the program and i end up i mean being there to mentor the uh, the kids and i was so so happy i told them how i started i told them that people a lot of people came because they heard that I, I, i'm yeah. around yeah so um people that i grew up with all of them they were there and they were happy to to see me even though i i go there at times but i have to i have to i have to sneak in because at times the the the, the pressure and the crowd is is too much and you know that you can't you can you can you can run away from your yeah people. no you can't see every everybody so yeah. the people that you see them are happy those maybe you don't do it deliberately but you you forget to yeah. see them they will take it in a different yeah. so at times i have to sneak in to see one or two friends uh, and then leave but they were so happy so i told them about my story i told them that standing here today not even a single person can come and say that when i was i was here as a child i've i've, I've insulted nobody and then i mean these are the stories so they, they saw the light i mean from 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 chocolate because my friends I, I was moving with they were they were hardcore if you just joined us um we are speaking to former black stars captain steven appear sharing with us his life journey how he started and where he's got into talking to us about where he actually learned how to play football and uh, these days one of the things that he 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 
he engages in is to inspire the next case, the next generation of talents like himself. And not even just the talents who want to play football, but want to go into such an area because his life story is a book on its own. Like, and he even indicated, maybe I'll just let him confirm, he will write a book, right? Yes, yes. yes, 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 yes have yes, you started yes. yet? Hey, don't worry. Well, you, get, you, get, you, you get to know. <laughs> I, mean, you, I mean, you know that you are one of the people who know for sure. So, okay. Uh, uh, tell me pretty quick. How do you feel when you go back to where you came from? Yeah. And you have people come around you and mob you, just want to touch you and say, "Oh, this is Steven." They just want to touch you. How yeah. do you feel at times? Um. They are my people, so that's where I started from, and they are the people who made me. I said that because when I was starting, at times you'll be on the road, you don't have food to eat. There's someone who will provide that. They encourage me. Train, train. One day you will be a good player. And it came to pass. So they made me. So anytime I go to my, my hood, I mean, I, there's no way to, to, to express that, that, that feeling. At times I, I get very, very emotional because people that I grew up with, seeing them in certain states, I ask myself, so if it's not because of football and the grace upon me, I will be like them. 90, 90, 100%. 100%. So going back, I, I always feel, feel so, so good. Let me tell you a story. When, when my dad passed, so we, 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 we took the body from, from, from the mortuary. And you know, we, the guys, we have to visit his place. Yes. So we got to our, our, um, our house in uh, at Choco. And that time I've, I've, I've run my mouth to my wife that I don't understand why people cry so much when people passed. So um, I said, oh, okay. Me, I don't think that. Yes, I will feel bad. I will, I, I, I will shed tears, but I won't cry like the way people, I, we see people crying. Yeah. So when we took the body to Choco, and a lot of people came. When they came, I was standing in front of our house. So I was standing there and I started crying, like I couldn't hold myself. I was crying, 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 crying. So when we finished, like Kissing was there, yeah. Like I was with like Kissing and the wife. So when we, we left the place to the church, and then my wife was like, you see, I told you, you think that you are, you are yeah, very, man. very hard. Yeah, but you are not. So I was like, why, what, what are you trying to say? He said, you see the way you cry, you couldn't hold yourself. People were, I said, you see, it's not, no disrespect, but it's not, it's not the body. But looking at where I was born, the people that I grew up with, some of them, most of them are junkies. Most of them are robbers. And me being there, that's why, that's why I was crying because I was, I was asking myself that if it's not because of football and the, the effort that I put in to get to where I am, I will still be at that place. No disrespect to them because at the end of the day, we came to this world, we, we are different people. With we different came to, destinies. Yeah, exactly. But I will be there. So that's where I started to, I, I, lose, I, I lost it. I lost it. And so your question, anytime I go to my hood, you have no idea. You have a park there. I saw a park there named after Stephen up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, my probably same paper. Yeah. No, sorry, my probably uh, girl school. Yeah. And I think that um, my brother, who used to be a goalkeeper, oh, okay. I met Shaibu. Yeah, he's the, the, the boss of Koda. Oh, okay. So um, he did that, uh, that, that Astro Theft and then he named it after, after me. I think that he did well because we all used to play together. I had a chance to play for the Black Stars. I had the chance to travel to Europe to play. I captained the Black Stars for nine years. I think I have done well. So, I mean, giving something back or... No, it honors, it honors me, yeah. and, and it was it was it was beautiful that day. Capito, <coughs> again, I mentioned Capito. <laughs> <laughs> when 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 you were telling me the story of your life, then I roll back to the days and wonder what life was was all about because it's quite interesting. Like Kinsey was on this very show, 
and he was telling me that your early days were not easy. And in fact, he spoke about you one time being, uh, was he uh, a mate or, or what? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so uh, that's what I said. <laughs> most, of the, most of my friends, um, they, they were mates, I mean, like conductors in, 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 in Trotro and stuff. Oh, okay. so they were the people collecting the money. And even though moving with hardcore guys, I was, I was a bit shy. I was still shy. And then I quite remember when we used to sleep at, uh, uh, in Trotro. So they would wake up like 4 o'clock. To go and get ready to go f uh, for 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 job their work and then i will go and change and then i will hit the road i will go uh, for jogging uh, i will go and train and then come home so when i come home i have to wait no when i come home i will rest then four o'clock no three o'clock i will go for i'll go to indafa for um uh, fatah babies yeah. uh, training and when i finish training because you know those days you finish training and you are jogging home you don't you don't know what to eat it's not because you have a choice but because you don't have money for food so i have to wait for my friends and they will come around 10 o'clock so when they come five of them i don't want to mention that name. oh yeah, yeah five kind of, of them so when they come they will be trying to oh you uh when we come you wanted us to buy you food because you don't want to work because you don't want to do this so somebody will buy uh, um, a kk and fish somebody will buy rice and stew somebody will they will buy different different and i'll be sitting there and then somebody will try and give me a spoon of rice somebody will put one fish say no what this is what i can do for you and then they will give it to me i can't i couldn't reject it i have to eat it because i i, I was starving i don't have food but today i mean these are the same people that i roll with most of the time sundays i will call them i'll gather them we'll go and hit tilapia and and the rest even though they they thought they were they didn't they didn't know i didn't know it myself i didn't know where i was heading to yeah. when i was young so nothing guarantees me that i will be yeah. a good footballer but i have it in me that i wanted to play football and it they thought they were they were they were being hard on me but they gave me something the more they, they were doing that, the more they were giving me the energy to wake up in the morning to prove them wrong that one day I will be a good footballer. And it happens. So, the, so you, were, you were a mate for some time? Did you do it? I did it one, but it wasn't, I was, uh, <laughs> it was, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was, I, 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 it, was, it wasn't sex, easy. Sex, 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 or talk, or talk, oh, or no, talk. Oh no, those days, no, those days, it was, it was, it, these days they have modified it, so oh, okay. they have to, you know, sex, sex, no, but those days, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. How was it? Uh, it, my, in my situation that day, when we leave the shyness of, uh, from Stephen up there, I think that it, it wasn't bad because people are still still doing it. Yeah. So I, I could have I could have done that job, but uh, you know I have it in my mind that I wanted to play football. Did you break stones at some point in your life? <laughs> who told you this story? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who told you this story? Why are I coming to speak I, to is you? It, it, is it lying? I want to come to speak to you. So I want to do lots of research. Yeah, so at a, at a point, uh, I mean, there is this, uh, those days we used to go to Katamanto to shop. So I have to follow friends and they, they will buy three and then they will give me one. So you know, you understand. So I, I didn't have money. And they were the people doing certain, certain stuff to make money. So uh, myself and my best friend, Danso. Yeah. We play the same course. And uh, Edmund Copson. So one Christmas, I mean, when we look around, those days there were viscos and lini pants and but those days I don't I don't I don't have anything. So I have to when when I'm going out, I have to I have to go for fr uh, go to friends. They will give me somebody will give me shirt, somebody will give me jeans, and somebody will give me uh, a shoe. And that Christmas, I didn't have anything, so I was like, what is going to happen to me? Would I go out or I, would I stay home? Then Edmund Copson came with a plan. He said he knows some place, Santa Maria. They, they crack stones. So we should go there and when you go, we can make money. So we walked from Choco to uh, uh, Odoko. And when we got there, I mean, there were a lot of stones. 
a lot of stones. So I asked uh, Danso and Corpsin that, are we going to carry all these stones? They said, oh, yeah, 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 we have to do. They said 6 to 12. But if you want to do more, you went, the more you yeah. do, the more you. I said, uh, OK, let me try 6 to 12. And I went the first time. I put the stones inside. I carried the stone. I thought, oh, this, I said, oh, this is easy. I will, I will do 6 to 6. But the fifth time when I was pushing the thing, the thing was so heavy. So I started to shake <laughs> there. I went to throw the pan away and then <laughs> I walked from Santa Maria to, to Choco. So you didn't that, get all your money? No, 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 no. That, I, I even left the money because that, it, it wasn't easy. That time is because there was a jeans called Ring 501, this uh, faded jeans. Yeah. And I wanted to buy some with a viscous shirt. So, I mean, these are the things that um, I went through. And football brought you here. Talk to me about um, how were you supported to actually play football at, at the topmost level? Well, uh, I can't I can, uh, tell that story living Accra as a folk uh, out. Uh, I think because of Accra as a folk, that's where I got the chance to travel to, uh, to yeah. Italy. Um, my cold days, we played a game, Mighty Victory against uh, Kowloon Babies. That time, I mean, I mean, the best club was Kowloon Babies and Great Falcons. Kowloon Babies because they have so much money and then they have all the best players at that, our time. They yeah. have all the best players. I mean, Ose Boatin was their goalkeeper. Christopher Pelete was number two. You have Dankwe. You have uh, Aziz Ansa. You have uh, Lai Kinson. You have Godwin Atram. You have Asasi J. You have... Uh, they had the best team. So that, day, that, that match, there was, there was a debate between myself and Godwin Atram. Because I played 10, he played 10. And I was doing so well, and he was doing so well at Kowloon. So there was this debate. They said, the Choco people said, oh, I'm better than Atram. The Kowloon people said, no, Atram is far better than Steven Apia. So two days to the, uh, to the game, we played that game on Wednesday. Two, two days to the game, Atram, I think Atram was sick. So, um, yeah, Atram was sick. So that debate ended because Atram would be on the pitch. And we played that game at uh, Art Center, where Accra also football. Yeah, you train. train yeah. yeah. It was Wednesday. And that game, I played so well. I scored two goals, the first goal and the last goal. We beat them 3 0. So uh, after the game, uh, I was at home and uh, Iman Rama Ama Senegal, our former uh, yeah. Blaster player, uh, he came to me and he said that, oh, I mean, Nia uh, Ibonte, known, known as uh, Thomas Hokande, yeah. uh, he sent uh, Iman Rama Senegal to come to my house to tell me that uh, uh, I, should, I should come to training to train with the Aruras. So, um, yeah, so we played that game. After the game, I mean, the us fans, they were giving me money. Uh, I got a lot of money at, at that particular game. Finally. Yes. Finally, yeah. you have money in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have, I, yeah I had something <laughs> small. And you know that time that you have been, you have been in the hustle of yeah, the street of chocolate yeah. and then playing that game, getting something small. That night, I couldn't sleep because when you, are, you put the money under the pillow, when you are in every every three seconds you have to open your eyes and check if the money is still there. there you never know maybe some mice be <laughs> <laughs> you never know so <laughs> no i mean i was i was very very happy so i started training with uh Aruras. okay yeah i did so well that time uh coach uh samama was our coach oh okay yeah and i mean may he so recipes but i mean he did everything possible that we, we should we should we should join them myself and Sibu Moni. There's a guy called Sibu Moni oh, okay. that we should join the uh, the first team. And then uh, with hard work and the love of the game, I did I did and I joined the the the, the, the senior team. So playing for Accra, so for my first game, I played against uh, Eleven Wise. Okay. So when we were going uh, to the pit, you know that those days the the dressing room is where the the uh, the, the VIP is. And they have they have a space there. So walking, you can see the pitch. And we are playing against Eleven Wise. This is my first game, and you have players like Ebu Smith and the rest. Yeah. 
so going to the going to the pitch i was i was very very nervous no never i was scared of the game because when we were walking i saw the pitch and I, my heart started beating i was like e today am I, I'm what has brought me here <laughs> yeah <laughs> today i'm part of this team and i have to i have to show myself so um Ebo smith uh, realized that I, I was very very tense i was i was scared of the game so he tapped me from 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 behind and he said steven you know what when you get the ball you just dribble when you lose the ball we'll, we'll take it and we'll give it to you just dribble them so i think that that thing that he told me gave me some confidence because i mean he has been in the game he has played for the national team and he has played uh, outside so i mean he knows he yeah. knows and then uh it happens i mean i enjoyed myself i played very very well when we finished the game the fans they were throwing money <laughs> if I don't start making money, <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, level, level, level change. Now. Yeah, so, level have changed. Yeah, so we're able to go and get your G's. Oh yeah, that time <laughs> I, w I wasn't getting it myself. So you know, you play games on Sundays. Yeah. Monday deliberately, you have to go to UTC. You have to walk from UTC to Watu. Huh? So walking, the ask fans, they will be giving you things. I mean, fan, oh, iron, okay. money. So anytime I played a game on Sunday. You are guaranteed I mean, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You will see Stephen Apia <laughs> coming from me. <laughs> Was it deliberate? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Man has to make some money, man. I mean. But your career at Hasafo was very brief, but people still remember those days at Hasafo. Oh yeah. Um, um, I played. I played very, very well. And I mean, those days, 11 o'clock stadium is full. Yeah. It's full, and I was very, very young. Being playing with all these top, top, experience top, top players. experienced players, and the 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 the, the uh, my performance was 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 unbelievable. So people were even calling me. They call me computer. Oh really? Yeah, yeah computer. Because they said that everywhere I stand, I can gauge and then give a pass. That, that gauging, how did he do it? I'll, 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 I think I'll get there because <laughs> so, I do recall we had a small TV like this over in the village. Hey, sometimes uh, life, it was black and white television. Yeah. I think Ghana was playing friend of mine, was it against Japan or so? I recall you gave a long pass. Yeah. Hey, that, 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 we, call, we call it tailor measured pass, yeah, tailor measured. Yeah, you hit the ball yeah. and like it's to trap the ball yeah. like that. How are so, you doing it? Yeah, so they call me they call me computer and then they changed my name to Baby Jesus. Huh? Yeah, Baby Jesus, because I quite remember when you know those days all the top goalkeepers in the league, I scored all the, all of them. From 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 Salifu Ansan, Ose Kwajo, uh Edward Ansan, all the top top. And I was young and I mean getting those those football sense and the pos posi positioning myself and the where where the places that i would place the ball it was it was beyond imagination but i think that it's something that i was born with yeah. because when i was even playing coats uh it was it it was there and um at times you have to go to the beach to to practice on 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 certain things yeah. in terms of accuracy so uh, I, I will stand somewhere like 50 meters and i will tell a friend to stand uh, a certain position and I will, I will be hitting the ball there and then I mean it will be going <laughs> it will be going <laughs> like that so yeah I mean, they said uh, I mean computer that is baby that is Jesus expert. what computer baby Jesus yeah computer baby Jesus yeah wow and then when I was playing course they call me Gadiola Gadiola yeah ga no no not Guardiola eh. Gadiola 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 so you know those days before we saw Ronaldo, yeah, I mean Brazilian yeah, Ronaldo, Ronaldo Lima. Uh, yes, and other players doing, you know that, yeah, yeah that uh -huh. skill. We saw a Bo Smith and the and the rest doing that. So when we were playing course, I used to do that, that thing. Even even, so, even the blasters, colors, you did yeah. it many times. So <laughs> when I do this, my fans, no, yeah. the uh, the chocolate people, they would say gajo. <laughs> so they, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> they gave the that uh, uh, trick, no yeah. gajo. So when I do, so when I was, I was playing Charlie Bale Gajo, Bale Gajo, do him, do him, do him yeah. Gajo, then I would do my things and everybody here, so. <laughs> Is it that you've been receiving fans from oh. childhood? Oh, yes, 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 yes. 
mufti i was i was i was good i was good let's forget about the blasters and but when when we were playing munchedi and there i was good i was good from house of folk then you went to the under 17 yeah. subsequently to europe tell me about that call up how did you get the first call up to the u17 u17 so playing a class of folk uh 95 i was i was i was doing so well i've won uh, uh, uh setting awards and uh honorable yiti Minsa gave me a letter oh, okay. to yeah to join the the under 17. that time kuchade they have been in camp for i think two years is this somebody so, yeah yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. May, may so rest, rest in, in peace. peace the multi system yeah man. yeah multi multi system, multi -system man, yeah, yeah multi system so he had his team already and i have to join the team and it wasn't it wasn't easy it wasn't easy i went to camp to meet players like Kristen saba um atada aku atakra ameni ampon yimanwe bentel and the rest so when i got there uh you know when you are training but it looks as if your 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 energy is not right there because they have been together for yeah, so many years yeah. so they, they they know themselves being a new player i was the youngest player in in, in the team at that time being there late and then the players they will be looking at you in a certain way that we have been here for two years you, you have come and you think that uh, they will take you to the world cup and yeah i was training with them i used to wash their clothes so when we finished training at times you I, under 17 of course under 17 i used to wash their clothes i used to wash like himanwe bentel and atakra meniampo and there and then <laughs> okay atakra meniampo and the rest so at times we will finish training they will they will put their uh, jerseys and their pants and i have to i have to wash wash it for them i wasn't i wasn't feeling bad because it, it was normal today i mean our players know i thought so i'm a uh, hate job and can you can say a hate job me but those days you have to wash but when i was washing i wasn't feeling anything because i'm seeing them as senior Serious. players and then when we started to read the bible or when we started to understand life life will tell you that before you you will be great you have to serve so some of us we serve we serve by washing and going to the dining room to 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 uh, to to take their, their food. food yeah to their rooms and all that but today i'm here <laughs> um, yes yeah, so, you served yeah so under 17 i joined the team we traveled to we traveled to um that was Ecuador 95. Yeah, Ecuador 95. Yeah. So we did our 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 uh, pre-camp in Manchester. Oh, okay. That's why I became Manchester United fan. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> so we went to we went to we went to Bobby Charlton College. Oh, okay. That's where we camped. And my first stadium that I saw with my eyes was Old Trafford. Oh, okay. I've never seen. We thought that Accra Stadium was Accra Sports Stadium was heaven. But when I saw Old Trafford, I was like. Hey, where am I in paradise? <laughs> Football <laughs> paradise. Yeah, am I in paradise? That's where I fell in love with Man with, United. Yeah, Man United. And we, yeah, we trained there. We traveled to Ecuador. Uh, I had the chance to play uh, one game. I'm not going to say only because I have to be true to myself that the players who were there were were were, were better. Were better. Yeah, were better. They had the experience. Players like Joe and Sam, Baba Sule. David Amwaku, um, David Amwaku, Abu Idrisu, Emmanuel Bentel, I would do Isaka and the rest. I mean, they were, they were, they were, they were ahead, ahead of me. So uh, when we play our first, second game, we won the two games. So the third game, we have qualified already. already. So, uh, you so, were given an opportunity. Yeah. And you know that Kochiade, let me say this. Kochiade, ha, he, he, has a, he has a way of doing his selection. So it's not like the coaches will come, okay, uh, Michael Essien, you will play eight. Uh, uh, Adokwe Papo, you will play three. John Pence, you will play no. Coach Ade will be like, Abu Idrisu, eh, sorry, Mohamed Abu. No, Michael Abu, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Abu, if you get the ball, you give it to uh, uh, Patrick Alute. Patrick, when you get the ball, you just play a long ball to Kwe uh, Kuchre. Uh, 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 he was the number two. So Atakra, you come and then receive the ball. And then Saba, that's how... When oh. he got yes, when he got to my tent, because Yiti Mesa gave me letter to join the team, hmm. 
Today, GFA number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Apia. <laughs> Steven Apia. And I was like, e. I mean, I was the youngest player. I mean, give me some confidence to go and play that game. GFA number but, eight. Yeah, GFA number eight. But you see, if if at that age, playing for a car as a folk, with that pressure, with all the fans, there is no state. That I think that's why in my career I have never played under, under pressure. Never. I think I got that thing from a class of folk. Because 15 years, 16 years, and you play like 11 o'clock when you come, place is, the stadium is full. And we will play without fear. So when he said GFA number eight, everybody started to laugh and then. But and you knew it was you? Yeah, yeah, of course. He didn't mention my name. It was, <laughs> it was me. I mean, he's it, it, such a great man. He's it, 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 such a great man. So we went to the game. I played so well. I played so well. Chasaluti scored the goal. We beat them 1-0. We won the trophy. We came back. And when we came back, we, we, we took the, the, the trophy. On the tour. Yeah, on the tour. So when we got to the stadium, a lot of fans were, 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 yeah, were at the stadium. So when he was giving his speech, he said that um, he was talking the fans, the players and everything. He said, but one thing, there is, there is a young player in our team who didn't get the chance to, to play. But one day he will be one of the best in this country. And it, it happens. He prophesied on you? Oh, yes. And it happened? Yes, yeah. Yes. It means that he knew the quality you had. Of course. I mean, you can, you, it's like seeing certain players, you can, you can, you can predict, you can see that this player will be good, will be good in the future. And most of, most of the time it happens. At what point did you get to the Black Stars? What point? Uh, was it 95? I think we played, we played a game, was it Zimbabwe or Mozambique? I can't even remember. I think 2005. So that was my first collab, and uh, I mean, being 1995, you meant? Yeah, 90, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, 95. No, I think 96. Okay. So um, yeah, no, 96. So um, I had the chance to to be in camp with Abedi Pele, the maestro, the Anthony Yeboa, and the rest. So you know, when you you are in camp and you can't even eat, you are so shy because. Being in camp with the these men, great, yes. And Abele yeah. had already won the UEFA Champions League. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Being with uh, uh, Siki Akono and the rest. Now, for me, it was, it was, I couldn't believe, believe myself. Couldn't believe myself. And that game was going on. Abedi Pele scored the first goal. Tony Yeboah scored the second goal. And I had the chance. And I think I was the first player to, 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 to sub uh, Abedi Pele. So I had the chance to come and play 10 minutes. And that's, that's, that's where, that, that's where, no, 90, okay, so 96, I had a chance. Then I traveled to, to Italy. I played okay. there under, 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 under 20 World Cup, 97 okay. in Malaysia. Okay. Under 20 World Cup again in, 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 in Nigeria. 99? Yeah, no, yeah, 99. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, 99, 2000, I entered with, with the Blaster. So my first... Uh, major tournament was the Can 2000. Oh, when, okay. Yeah, okay. it was co-hosted. Yeah, co-hosted with uh, Nigeria, and uh, I didn't have the, I didn't get the chance to play as usual because myself and Peter Furukwe were, were were the youngest players in oh, camp. Okay. And that time you have Ales Nyaku, you have Siki Akono, you have um, you have uh, Makedusa and the rest. So I mean, the, the, it, it was very very tight for. For, for us to break through. But when we played the quarterfinals against um, South Africa, and uh, we were down by one goal. So second half, like uh, 25 minutes to full time, myself and Oforikwe, we had a chance to, to, play. to play. And when we came in, we, we played so well. So that's where, um, I mean, the coaches and Ghanaians started to talk about I mean that I mean the guy is young but I think that when he, he when we give him the opportunity he can he can deliver that, that that's where he started that's where he started uh, talk to me about substituting Abedi Pele how did he feel that time I was you know that time I was we hear the name Abedi Pele Abedi Pele but because those days you don't even have TV that you can you say can that see. you can watch them 
like the way we we, we are watching Thomas yeah, party because of DSTV yeah. and other channels. So you don't you don't you know you hear their name, but you don't know. It was only radio. What, yes, you don't know what they are when it comes to the game, what they they were doing. Yeah. But I mean, hearing about the pillar being in camp with him, uh, it was it was it was it was it was a dream come true. Because that time, I mean, when you look at the squad in camp and me being there, uh, I didn't even know that I would wear jersey that much, that particular match. But I mean, I got a chance to wear jersey, and then I, ten minutes, uh, I tasted that 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 that, that, that uniform. Yeah. I mean, it was it was it, it was unique. It was unique. Yeah, it was unique. And, and tell me, and at what point were you made the Blast as captain? Uh, two thousand and was it two thousand and at uh, 2001 okay. yeah 2001 when we played against slovenia okay you slovenia in ljubljana okay yeah so we were there and uh but you were young yes Within so a group of experienced players yes so olele was my roommate and we had a meeting with the coach and um when the coach was doing the selection the coach was like uh today the captain is uh will be steven apia and i will i raised my hand i was like um no i don't think that i can be the captain because i mean olele is a senior player so he should be the captain and then uh olele tapped my shoulder and said that steven don't worry it's a band you you take it and we will support you so um yeah olele said that and then uh, i was i was given the band we lost we lost that game we lost that game and then um, 2002, I think we didn't, 2002 was Mali. Yeah. We didn't qualify. No, sorry. Mali, Mali we Mali qualified. Yeah, but yeah. And, and Tunisia was 2004. 2004. So Mali, I was injured, so I wasn't part of the team. Uh, 2004, we didn't qualify. Didn't qualify. 2006, we went to Egypt. Egypt. 2008, I was. So you know that all, I mean, about Steven Apia, Steven Apia, Steven Apia. I have played only two African Cups. No, one and a half. <laughs> no, two thousand. No, two thousand. I had a chance to play only twenty-five yeah. minutes. No, it's not only because I mean I was yeah, selected to yeah. play, so it's the the yeah. national team. So it's not only. I played twenty-five minutes, but in in Egypt, yeah, I played all the, that minutes, one. All I, three that one, I got injured. That's where like Kingston was banned. Yeah. I got injured against Senegal. So when we played against uh, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, I was I, I was limping. I was limping. Like yeah. told me you were not fully fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't bad. So you played just two Afcon. Afcon, and people doesn't know. People think that Steven Apia said, I've played. I've played two Afcon. 2000 and 2008, I was injured. 2010, yeah. Angola. Yeah. I was training. My last training at uh, Bologna. I got injured, so I have to miss uh, that tournament as well. So people doesn't know. People think that I've played only. Two, two, no, when I say two, it's not complete. No, one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but then came the qualification. <laughs> Before the qualification yeah. of the World Cup, yeah. one, how was it like replacing CK Akuno as a Black Stars captain? It was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because, uh, so 2001, I, I was given the band, and then because that time the players, uh, most of the senior players were not part. Uh, in that game. So when we came back, 2000, I think 2004, when uh, Milankovic came, before the qualifiers, we had a meeting at the stadium. So when he was talking, he said, oh, the captain still will be Steven Apia and blah, blah, blah. I was so happy to be, I mean, being the captain. So when I was there, I was jubilating and I was like, oh, now I'm the captain of the senior yeah. national team. And I have to call my friends. They have to come to the stadium. We went to a place called Epo, Atosu. When we went there, we were celebrating after I came home. I was sitting here alone. And then that's where it you started to... You already had this place? Yeah, 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 oh, okay. yeah. And that's where the thing started to, to reflect on me that, I mean, giving the handband is a, is a huge responsibility. So I was like, what, what should I do? I mean, uh, World Cup qualifies is, is on its way. We have been there so many years trying to qualify to the World Cup. And we're having 
gotten the chance to be there. And our team, I won't say that is the best. I mean, we have seen the 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 uh, the ninety two glue Abedi and Prince Poli and the rest. We have seen we have seen their squad Tony Yebua, Ama Senegal, Frimpong Mans, but they couldn't get the chance to score. So I was thinking that what should I do? I mean, for us to 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 qualify. So I was sitting and then I was like, that time we were hearing a lot of things. So I was like. The only thing I have to do is to, to, to unite the, 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 the boys. What were the things you were hearing then? Oh, the things that I was hearing. You know that, I mean, we were not there. But, I mean, you heard it. I mean, there was, there was division in camp. I mean, there, there was no unity. Players are not together and all that. So I was like, I have to, I have to, I have to try and bring uh, everyone together. Yeah, everyone together. And, and that, that, that's what I did. We played our first game against Burkina Faso. We lost 1-0 and I was so, I mean, in the dressing room after that game, I was so like, I wanted to tell the coach, I know I don't want to be the captain. Again. <laughs> I was, you were down. Yeah. You were down. Yeah. Captain even motivated me. No, no, that time. You see, you, you, you went into the game with, with certain level of confidence that we are going to win the game. We played so well. But you see, it's different from being outside and not having certain responsibilities. You think that is easy. But when it got to your turn, you will know that it's a different thing. So I was thinking that, hey, what are they going to say in Accra? What are the media going to talk about? Are they going to talk about Those me? Those days you were afraid of media. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't afraid. I wasn't afraid. It wasn't, it wasn't like today. You can control the media. I wasn't, I wasn't afraid. But today you can control the media. No, I said no. That those time, days. yeah, those okay. days because okay. you have like today everybody is a media. It's a media person. Yeah, I mean people who sit at home they who don't even they didn't even watch the game, but they will criticize players because they yeah they saw that or oh, they said they lose two zero. Then they didn't watch it. They didn't even know the color of the jersey the team. For yeah, war the, war for that day, but they will come in. So now it's difficult. But those days, you can. It's not like because there was no social media too. Yeah. So it's not like now that everything flies like that. So I was thinking, I was thinking, and I was like, no, we can, we can make it. Then what makes what makes it worse? We were we played against South Africa. That would be our second game. And that time in our history, we have never beaten South, South Africa. Africa. So we played that game at Kumasi, but the atmosphere. We knew that we are going to win that game from 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 wednesday to saturday morning we know from to saturday uh, to sunday morning we knew that we are going to win that game because the atmosphere because you can see that the players we were like no whatever we have to we have to break it today and we beat them 3-0 and scored two goals that time before the game you know Ghanaians and those days Oh, don't wear the normal 10 jersey, is this and that. You have to wear a different jersey. And they did a program about me not to wear the normal 10 jersey. And I told them that me, I will wear the normal 10 jersey. Why were they saying you shouldn't wear it? Yeah, they said that the normal 10 jersey is not good and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, it's something, oh, it's the <laughs> something, something like that. There was no lag. And, but I said, no, I will wear the normal 10 jersey. And I wore the jersey. I scored two goals. We beat them 3-0. And that's where uh, it, sta it started, and finally we qualified to, to Germany in 2006. But AFCON 2006 was, with all due respect, yeah. horrible. Yeah, and it was. That tournament? It wasn't. It wasn't. It was bad when we. No, Against it was. Nigeria, you lost. Time time yeah, was yeah, yeah. Then the second game. Matiamo scored very early against yeah. Senegal. Then we lost the final game against Zimbabwe. Yeah, so that's. Yeah, I, I'm coming there. That's why I'm saying that it wasn't, it wasn't bad. But playing your last game, you drew with uh, Zimbabwe, make it look bad. Because that time, Nigeria, Nigeria was Nigeria. I mean, when we're talking about players. But they had failed to qualify for the yeah. World Cup. But it's, 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 I mean, that's football. But that time, Senegal was Senegal. Yeah. So it's not like we played with... I like you drove and cool. Yes, we, it's not Sisse and Koli and the rest. So it's not like we played with a team that they are not our standard but it was so bad when we played against Zimbabwe we, we just need a win 
and uh, they they scored the first goal and i think five minutes to full time baba amando equalized and it was one one and we were out of uh, out of the tournament so we learned from that and we went to the world cup in germany with a different mentality yeah mentality opening yeah. game against italy yeah i remember that famous photo with Cannavaro. yeah <laughs> And let me just conclude on the AFCON, right? It was you suffered a tackle. Yeah. Why can you suffered the suspension? Yeah. How do so, you feel? So uh, I think if we I wish I wish we can we can take it back and we will correct certain things. Because we were we were naive that time. Naive, be, naive because we didn't know certain rules in the game. Later, I watched another walk up where Rune, uh, Rooney was. Was was was, was this his incident against Ronaldo? Yeah, I think that they, they, England, yeah, they, yeah, they banned him for two games, but they still took him to the World Cup. So, if we had 2006, sorry, 2006, if we, we had that that experience or that knowledge about the rules we will force we will force the fa or we'll plead with them that they should take lie because it's two games first game second game then he will continue to play from the third game yeah. so when Coley uh, 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 gave me that stamp so lie went to lie will try to talk to Coley. then they are number two bay came from the side, he pushed Lai, and then Lai was started to argue with them. And we, we were shocked at times said, I mean, certain things you don't, you don't, you don't understand them. Are you pained? I am. I am because Lai is one of the players that when I look back, even though we traveled to Germany, we played the World Cup 2006, 2010, but still looks as if we were not complete. Be not because we know we know that lie lie knows how to play but i'm not talking about his play but he should be there because of the sacrifice he was part of those who sacrificed and we i, I think up to now he will still feel bad because looking back i did everything in football we had the chance in our time to qualify to the world cup and this small mistake made me lose my chance being to the World Cup. So some of us, I mean, we, we still, we, we, when we talk about it, we, we feel bad. Because Charlie, the other day I was talking to someone, I said, if Lai was, if Lai can even be in the team and maybe we first round we can go, I'm not saying that nothing guarantees when it, it has never happened. So I'm trying to say that, but if Lai was in the team, I'm sure that we'll go somewhere. Is, is not because you, are, you don't you have a soft spot because he, he was he was part of the quartet. You know, don't say the quartet was very famous. Yourself, Sule Muntari, Lai Kinsey, mm. and Michael, Michael yeah, said, the yeah, quartet. Yeah. I don't, it's not, I don't have a soft spot for him because of that. It's, it's not because of that. Today, we all of us, we are talking about Messi, Messi, Messi. Who made Messi? It's Iniesta and Savi. So we have some certain players of certain uh, uh, caliber, uh, of yeah, caliber of players. When they are in the game, you are, you are, you are rest assured. It's not because it's my, my, my close friend. It's not because uh, I have a soft... No. I mean, if Lai was in the team, it would be a different ball game. You I mean, you people, you, people, you people saw it when we played. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. I mean, the four of us, we play, we play without positioning. I mean, Lai will see me at the right. He will come to the middle. I will go to the middle. You will see Sule Mutarik. It was, it, it was beautiful. And talking about sacrifice, right? We've heard stories about sacrifice. How yeah. you personally sacrifice? Aside from, aside, uh, aside from your club career where you, you sacrificed to play for the country and suffered hugely at the Juventus. Yeah. And also sacrifice. Use your own money to even help the national team. Oh, but I think, you see... Did you use your money to uh, fly down players? To oh, I, I, I've said it before and you know that, I mean... I didn't want to say these kind of things, trust me. But you see, you, at times you go to interviews and... Talking certain things comes and you just have to say it. But I didn't want to even talk about it. I've never spoke about it before. Never. Never. But 
at the end of the day, today I'm sitting here as a proud former player that I played in the World Cup. So you have to do certain sacrifice to make people happy, to give their all. You have to make people happy. And that's what that's what so I you did. You were flying down players to come and play for the national team. I said I don't want to. I <laughs> said no, no. I said I've said it already. You see, were you flying down players to come I, play for the national team? I did some. Uh, yeah, some of them. I was giving people bonuses. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not running away from it. And it's not like somebody forced me to do that. But at time that most most at at that point nobody wants to come and play for the Blasters. Maybe people. That time I said there was no social. People doesn't know a lot, a lot of story. That I said, one day I know that I will write a book, and there will, there will, will be certain things that I will put in in in, in my book. So but people never now, wanted to play the blaster at some point. No, at a point, yeah, yes, at a point, at a point. So why were you the person who decided you were going to pay their bonuses and even fly them to come? But at the end, it, it, it benefited me. At the end, I had the chance to play in the World Cup. So my, 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 my dream is to go to the World Cup. So I'm not seeing it as a bad, bad thing. I mean, some players too, I mean, they have, they, they have done some sacrifices. We travel with Asamoah and we played against Congo. He charted the whole flight. It's a sacrifice. But it comes out of his will. Nobody forced him to do that. Nobody forced me to do that. But I was looking at a bigger picture. We went to Slovenia where we were wearing our own attire. At the hotel, I went to the, sh to the shop. Mr. Fianu can testify. Alessa Santi can testify. I went, to the, I went to the shopping mall to buy Adidas clothes for all the players and the staff in, in Slovenia. So these are the things. You see, that time you are, you are playing, you are a pro. You are a pro, so it's a shame. You have made name in Italy. And then you will be with your national team the own, I mean, the national team, and then you see players wearing their like the way we are now. I mean, and I, jacket. yeah, somebody <laughs> will, will be in Jalabia, and it's, it's, <laughs> not, it's, it's not, it's not, yeah, in the Africa yeah, it's <laughs> not, it's not, it's not, it's not nice. So that's where I took it from. Like, oh, I have to, I think we have to be in uniform because I'm, I've played for Udinese that time I was playing for uh, uh, Parma, and it was so nice when we go to camp. We are in uniform, everybody dressed the same. So I said, okay, let me get... I didn't do that because I wanted something. But if it, if it looks bad, I will be part of that image. And Slovenia, Italy, is not far. I drove from Parma to Slovenia that, uh, that game. So it's not far. So I think I have that thing in my head that, okay, we have to look good. That's what. And why didn't you tell the officials of the FA to do it? But you decided to do it. Oh, you see, we do certain things, and then it will follow you. I think when you do good, good follows you. When you do bad, bad follows you. I didn't. <laughs> it's not everything not the story, that. Not the story, no, 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 no. No, let me leave it for my book. Cool. Let me leave it for my book. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool, but I'm trying to say that I did it because I wanted to do it. The I mean, the FA officials, they didn't do it. Maybe, maybe they were not thinking that we should be in uniform. But that time, it, it wasn't like today that we are all in, uh, people, you see them going to camp wearing Puma. And we have played games that we wear uh, Mingo. Mingo is yeah, so in uh, Osu. Yeah, yeah. Mingo just says, yes, Le Coq Sportif socks. <laughs> so these are the things that, you understand? So these are the things that I'm talking about. When you travel, I mean, the exposure, what you see there, you try to bring it back. So I was, I was, I didn't know why. I was feeling like we should, we should be nice in, in, in camp. So that's why, that's why I, I, I bought that, that uniform for, for so the how, team. How, how much did you buy? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. But how much did you spend in, in paying bonuses and flying? Bonuses? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, no, 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 a long, long time. I can't this remember. Can't remember. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> long my, time. If I come and buy something long from time. you, even if it would take me 10 years, I don't know that about this. No, a long time, long time. I can't, I can't remember. But when you're writing the book, you will remember. I don't know, but I will put it that, yeah, I've, I've, I've bought it, uh, <laughs> a ticket before. Did you write it somewhere? Did you write it? Did you indicate it somewhere that you, you, you bought, uh, 
shares or even paid bonuses like oh no i haven't i haven't written it anywhere but you see when you are telling your own story because you know the story you won't forget about it, your own story. So you were paying minimum of thousand uh, dollars. I, I, I can't. I can't. Ahead, oh I mean. no, no, no! Thousand dollars was was a lot that uh, then, no. But you know that those days, you have to come and you have to come and play matches. You have to leave your bonus. You will go back to your club and you have to send your relatives for your. At times, it will, it, 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 it take days. It, it wasn't there for but that time. The money in football when you, you come to yeah when you come to this continent our continent it wasn't like where, where when they um, the ones that they were spending in, yeah. in europe so we 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 try to understand them that i mean we Would want you say you're one of the players who have sacrificed the most for the national team would i say i'm the one of the one but, of the players who have sacrificed the most for the national team. I can't I can't say I can't say yes, I can't say no. I can't say yes because I mean we didn't saw the Osei Kufi and the rest. We didn't saw what they did. Yeah. So I can't say that I mean my generation or uh, I was there. No, maybe people have uh, they have they have done they have done people have gone through worse. It's not about only spending that shows that you have sacrificed. We have seen players that through the national team, they broke their and they, their career ended. Ended. So it was sacrifice as well. It's not about using my money to say that because I use money, I have sacrificed. No. I, I read an article that you granted to Emmy. Yeah. And you gave the story of how you lost your place in Juventus. Yeah. How hurtful was that? It, it, it was. It was very, very because you see. But I haven't, I haven't regretted that. Trust me, I haven't. Because I will repeat it again that whatever I do, it doesn't matter, football, wherever I find myself, my country come first. As for that one day, I will never take it back. No, so I lost my position because of Athens. I went to Athens today when, if I want to brag, I don't talk much. I don't brag. I tell my story, but I don't brag. But if I want to brag, those days, Messi and the rest were there. But I was part of the dream team in Athens. You understand? Yeah. So You scored some beautiful goals. Yeah, so leave it. And I think that they were so <laughs> upset because I scored against Italy. <laughs> I was coming. They were preventing me not to go to the tournament. I forced myself and... I forced myself telling them that I want to go to that tournament. The Olympics, I have to. I have to. And I went. So in my career, I have been through all the ranks. I played 95, I played under 17 World Cup. 97 Malaysia, under 20, I played the World Cup. 99, I played uh, another World Cup, under 20. So um, then. That was New Zealand 99. Yeah, 99, yeah. Then uh, 2004. Black Matthias. I, Black Matthias, I was part of the Olympics, I was part of the dream team. 2006 what world cup. cup so i've been through the you understand so if i'm sitting but, with but you also mentioned something yeah you mentioned something about someone within juventus who wield a certain political power yeah oh no i mean uh, luciano moji yeah. i know that everybody knows luciano moji he was he was very very powerful and that time luciano moji is one of the directors that you can't say no to you understand you can't say no to so it was a battle for me sorry leaving my club to come to play for 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 the olympics but that time you can't you can't stop the player if you stop the player then that means that he won't even play for 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 the for club. you for the club so at the point they realize that i mean they have to 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 to, to let me go back i was my first meeting when they called me i was i was very very scared why i was i mean you are going to sit in front of luciano moji uh Bettega, who 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 is one of their their legends and then their lawyer Giraldo. i mean it, it's it's even the top top players they they you can't go to luciano moji saying no 
So who who is Stephen Apia going to say no to to Luciano Moji? But you did. Yeah, I did. That's why I said I did. And you suffered the consequences. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm happy that I I I, I mean I chose my country, and yeah, I suffered okay. that, that that consequences. I went to the Olympics and. I mean, I made my name. You, for, you told the 2010 World Cup story, so I'm not going to go into that 2010 World Cup story about penalty issues yeah. and all that. You've told that story many, many times. But let's talk current issues. You mentioned that just a couple of minutes ago, when we were talking, you mentioned about the interview you granted. Yeah. And one of the things they spoke about was the fact that where you use your money to pay mm. players, bonuses and, and all that. And there was another thing too that you said, the one that dominated the headlines, where you said that you've got a network, so footballers, should at least be given certain roles to play within the, the, yeah. the, the football governance in this country. And yeah. there are people who said that you've played a game doesn't mean that, and you have the network doesn't mean that you've got the knowledge to run the game. Uh -huh. What do you say? <laughs> you see, I think they, they misunderstood whatever I said. Thank you. Clarify for me. Yeah. I wasn't talking about former players getting positions, being coaches or but you can get something from them when you try to ask them about certain opinions. For instance, Mohamed Polo, Abedi Pele, Abdul Razak, and the rest they have won the african cup before so you can even i'm not talking when i i talk i don't speak about steven Apia. trust me i'm not talking i've never talked about myself never today we spoke about yourself no there is so, you no, but I will, yes <laughs> but i will i, I will say that it's steven Apia because i think that there are people who came before us yeah. there are people who won trophies as i mentioned i've been and the rest we have been since 2008 semi-finals finals semi-finals finals i mean against Cote d'ivoire we had the chance where they lost their two first two penalties yeah first two uh, penalties but we couldn't grab the cap so i mean you can invite certain former players and ask them what did they do to win the trophy their time you see they will give you ideas you can take it or not but I think that they didn't get what I was trying to communicate. Yeah, then they took it in a different, in a different... And it exploded. Oh, yeah. So, um, I'm not saying that I, I was happy. I'm not saying that I was not happy. But I realized that... Um, let me be humble in saying that I think I have a voice. Because what I said was nothing. But look the way... It happens. Everybody was talking about it. There's power behind that voice. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I have to use it. Use it. Okay. Now I tell me. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me this. Yeah. You talk about former players getting close to the national team. And in fact, if I go on the internet right now, you were made a member of the Black Stars Management Committee. When was the last yeah. time you were part of the meeting? I never, I never showed up. Why? Uh, I never showed up because um, I have I, ha I had my own reason. Yeah, not because of, not because of anything. Not because of anything. What is the reason? Oh no, I had no, it's my own reason. Yeah, I have but, my, but, but yeah. if, if you are put as part of a management committee to come and help and you didn't go to help, yeah, it's, it's not fair to Nadu. It's not fair to the FA. It's not mm -hmm. fair to the leader of the FA, and it's yeah. not fair to Ghanaians because they yeah. want you to be part of the management of yeah, the national yeah. team, a national team you have led to qualify mm -hmm. to the World Cup two times. Yeah. I know you are still pushing me to say, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not. Everybody knows that when it comes to, but who am I to say no? If uh, I, I'm given an opportunity to serve, to say no, I will. I will, but times it's like how we go about things. I will. I will. And I think people should let me look into the camera and people, me, me, I mean, myself and Kurt, we are, we are very, very cool. People think that there is uh, some fracas between the two. No. We are very, very cool. I mean, we share, I, we are very, very cool. But I think, I'm, I'm one person who always wants things to, to be done in the right way. That's it. So your appointment was not done in the right way? I said, I'm, I'm a type who 
I mean, I like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so in other words, you're suggesting that your appointment was not done in the I right way. Maybe I didn't, I didn't get it right the way I wanted it to. So how are you supposed to be called up? So uh, next time, when they want to call you up to the national team, they'll know that, okay, this is a channel we need to go to get statements. Oh, no, yeah. we, have, we, have, we have spoken and then uh, 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 whoever knows. Well, it's not about only Steven. It's about, I mean... All former Yeah, players. all former... Not even former... Even current players. I think people should be treated in the right way. Steven, you are not properly treated in your appointment to the management committee. I haven't... I said people... No, I said people, when they are, no. they are giving them appointment, they have to do it in the right way. But it this clearly be, suggests that you were not properly treated. No, I'm, I'm just... It's, it's, it's a message that I'm sending out there. It's not about Steven up here. I said we have to do things in the right way. Steven. Capito. Yes. Tornado. Yes. Three names I've called uh -huh. separately. And what you're saying suggests that your appointment as a management committee member of the Black Stars mm -hmm. was not properly done. So you were not properly treated. I said we have to do things in the right way. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do the things Who in the right way. Who called you up for the appointment? Oh, I think we, you see, I, will, I, will, I mean, you are a brother and we will go way back. And you are one of the people that uh, when I'm talking to, I have to let everything. But I think... Um, we are we are we are in a position now that things are not things are not right when yeah. we talk about the national thing so i think certain things i have to i have to put it aside at the right time maybe we can we can talk again and then in your book yeah no no in my <laughs> book no there are, you see at times you have to weigh the the, the situation oh, but the, the environment right now is very calm it's not it's extremely calm no it's not why is the environment hot no it's not i said it's not in the appearance in appear Currently, stories about the blasters the are not good. is hot. I mean, I'm sitting in my house and you can see I'm sweating. It's hot. No, no, come on. That is a different context. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different context. That's a different context. But no. let's sign out pretty yeah. quick. I, I wish I could talk to someone, but I've taken yeah. a chunk of your time. Let's sign out pretty quick. Um, World Cup 2022. One player that you were with, 2006 World Cup. Um, in fact, you captained him. Otado took us to the World Cup, not the best of performances. Mm. And uh, we exited in a manner that people actually think that we could have done better. Mm. From where you sit, you think we could have done better? I think, I think, I think yes. I think yes because, I mean, the country who won the World Cup, Argentina lost its first game against Saudi Arabia, yeah. that nobody thought, would happen. thought that would happen. So, going to that tells you that as you are going in the tournament, playing games, that's where you get your confidence. That's where you you try to be in the tournament. Um, our our side, I think, the boys did what they could, but we are we are talking about World Cup. That's the that's the highest level when it comes to it comes to football. And I always say that when you go to tournament tournaments you don't need to play attractive football because at the end of the day you are fighting for only one thing is the trophy so it's better to play ugly football to get to the finals to win the trophy than better to play attractive football to exit from the tournament and i think that's what we tried to do and we were expecting our boys to do so much because i mean they were playing well in their clubs so we were we want to see them what they were doing in their clubs they should they should translate that to the yeah team. translate that to 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 the world cup but i said world cup is world cup i mean you will go and meet people who are far ahead of you and today the football that we are all seeing is not about what we see on the pitch the force is about the people who are on the bench the technical stuff. That's why today you will see that Chelsea, Man City, they are even more than the team itself. <laughs> oh yeah, the we backroom have, stuff. Yeah, we have Italy. people who Italy went to the Euros. Ah, we did the Euros together. Yeah. Italy, we kept seven yeah. backroom stuff. So yeah. you have a particular person who is focusing on Ireland. You have a particular person who is focusing on Messi. You have a particular person who is trying to look at the goalkeeper. But I don't think that we have the... So our technical team is deficient? No, I'm not saying that because I'm coming there. So I'm trying to say that 
at the end of the day all this thing is money do we have the the money to do that no so we, we are deficient in our technical team but there are other the, people who also talk about the chop and change chop and change so if my memory serves me that, right, what, what is that term chop and change <laughs> <laughs> like you bring in someone and a shot gap then you replace yeah so let me go back to 2006 Djokovic then there was shot gap yeah. where there was Salah Stete yeah then, then there Milo. was Steven Appiah then there was Claude Leroy for the 2008 African yeah. Cup of Nations then came uh, Milo Van Rijver mm. then came Goran Stevanovic then came Steven uh, that's a Steven Appiah Kwesi Appiah then after Kwesi Appiah we had Avram Grant Avram Grant then we had Kwesi Appiah again then CK Akono then uh, Milo again, then we had Otoado, now Chris Hutin. How many coaches have I counted in the space mm. of how many years? Yeah. So there hasn't been that consistency. Is that also a challenge? No, it can be because you see, I think we are living in a country where we don't have patience. We saw when you read Ferguson books, yeah. when he started, I mean, it wasn't good. But they allow him to do his job. And we have to know one thing that any code that you bring, you know, it comes with a different style of play. It come, so the players will never get used to a particular play. That's why maybe it looks like we, we are not getting like what we want to, to, to see. Our time, it was... It was one code that we we had yeah we had and look at the way we played i can close my eyes and i know where asamwajan is or matthew amwa is and i'll give him the ball but today it looks as if we are not i don't want to use the word confuses is too harsh uh we are not getting it so changing coaches to uh it distracts the, the 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 system of the the play of the the the, the team is that, is that one of the reasons why we've not won the afcon in a long while I don't, I don't, I don't say that is a, that that would be the only matter. But I think that it's, I don't know, I don't know. What is your highest point as a footballer? Highest point. Highest point. Highest point. Highest point. Highest point. Um, I've, I've won some trophies. I think, being 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 the World Cup. That's your highest point. Yes. And your lowest point? My lowest point. My lowest point when. My lowest point. My lowest point when I was, I was, my lowest, when I was leaving Fenerbahce, I was leaving Fenerbahce where I, I signed for a team that I didn't know anything about. So I went to Turkey, not happy because I didn't know the, the culture of the Turks. But when I got there, I saw that it was a different, it was a different culture. So I went there with the mentality of seeing the people covering them, fa their faces and but when I got there, it was a different thing. And I enjoyed my, my three years with Fenerbahce. I mean, I played so well. The first year, I won the player of the, of the league. Uh, the second year, we won the league. And uh, the third year, 2007, I got injured where they, they, yeah. they, they discovered that I have DVT, deep ventrobosis. So I traveled to America where the doctors were like, I can't play football anymore. But at times, um, I mean, where people think that, or oh, he can't do it, that's where I prove people wrong that no, it's not. No, I will, I will do it. I remember when the doctors, my, my, my agent was there, when my, uh, the doctors were like, uh, what has happened to me uh, is very, very difficult to play football again. And my agent was like, looking at him, I uh, said, look, at what, are you going to cry? And he was like, he was saying in Italy, Steven, uh, finito, we are finished. I said, no, I will come back and play it again. So I stayed out for two, two years without touching and that nothing. That's how you missed the Afcon 2008. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that time it wasn't serious. That time, later they discovered that. So I don't know if I have to say it. Or, so I passed out twice, once, one in, in a plane. The second one, I was running in my, my environment, my, I mean, my, my, my yeah, my house. And then it was so, it was very hot. And I said, let me put water, you see. I put water and then I didn't know if I was there for two hours, for three hours. I found myself lying on the floor. 
So I get up, I went to that time, the, the, the black cloth was split, splitting to my lungs. So I was, I was, even if I'm lacing my shoes, I'll get, I'll be, I can't, I can't breathe. And I was playing. So like, if I wasn't lucky, I would be on the pitch one day, like house, yeah. some players like Vivian Faux and the rest. Yeah. The same thing will happen to me because they thought maybe it was, it was something not, not serious. But when I went for a second opinion in Italy, that's where I saw that we, we were doing the echo Doppler. Yeah. So they realized that the thing is in my lungs going up. To your brain? Yeah, to my brain. So one of the doctors were like, I was, I was lying like this. So it was like, so when Italians, they say they do this sign, then that means that it's not good. So I turned and I saw the doctor saying, doing this sign. And I was like, what is happening to me? Somebody should tell me something. What is? And then the doctor asked me, to pray, pray, do you pray? I said, yeah, at times I, I do pray. And he said, somebody is somewhere who loves you so much. And I said, who is, some, who is, who is the person? Who is that person? And he said that, uh, I think God loves you so much because what we are seeing, if it happens to 100 people, I think only two will survive and you are part of the two. So I think I was, that's where I realized that I was coming to that hand. I mean, I wasn't prepared that I will, I, will, I, will, I will finish my career like that. So I think that's my lowest point. You were like, come, come. I wrote that promo. Yeah. Let them come. Let them they come. came and you were not there. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was sad. Uh, you have? Okay, so two questions. No, three. Yeah. One. One is that we are going to AFCON. We are likely to qualify. We have yeah. not qualify. But when we do qualify, well, when we do qualify for the tournament, should, should we have expectations that after over 40 years, we can be able to win the tournament. Haven't watched Chris Hutin for some, some few. I think I think I think is 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 possible. I think we can we can we can win the trophy. We can win the trophy because today football has changed so much. That's where you see teams like countries like Madagascar and the rest. They are doing so well. Yeah. So I always say is that it's how you approach the game. It's how you want the game to be. That's, that, that makes the difference. It's not about the players that you have anymore because the game has changed. It's not like 12 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago that there is a particular player who is going to make the difference. Yes. Yeah. How many are there today? So it's how about how we approach, approach the game that will make the difference. And we should continue believing in our, our, our boys and we know one day, one day it will happen. You have a newfound love for certain sport called tennis. Yeah. <laughs> ah, some of you, some of your mates are going into football administration, are going into coaching, and you are into tennis. Why? Why? No, I mean, to tennis is not, it's not, it, it's just, it's a just a hobby. Yeah, yeah, it's just a hobby. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm trying to keep myself fit, oh. so it doesn't have anything to do with. Friends going to a setting, doing certain courses. I mean, tennis, I'm having fun. I started playing 16 months ago and... Hey, you've been playing for more than a year? Oh yeah, yeah. I started uh, 17 February. I went to watch um, a friend called Dr. Pounds and oh, okay. uh, George yeah, Boatin. Yeah. So, I mean, I watched them play and I said, oh, I will learn how to play. So the next day I told the coach, no, it was Saturday. So I told the coach, the tennis coach that, I think Tuesday I will come and I will start training. So I went to buy uh, kits for, yeah, oh, okay. kits and the racket. And I went there on Tuesday. The coach said I should be there at 6 o'clock. But I mean, I always, 4.30, 5 o'clock, I'm already up. So I went to Labadi and I started to train with uh, Coach Joseph. The fi first five minutes, I wanted to tell him that, no, I think that I'm not interested in, <laughs> in tennis anymore because it was so difficult, the movement, and I was always putting the ball in the, in the net. In the net. So I was like, no, no, I didn't do well today. But you see, I left set, uh, a kind of uh, negative impression oh, okay. about not doing well. Yeah. So I said, no, 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 no. Then I have to go and try to do well before I would tell him that I'm not. So I went and, and today I'm beating like, 
I'm beating people who have been playing for seven years. Capito, oh, capito. Yeah. When you see me playing tennis, I mean, you think that is 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 Alcaraz. You you no, no uh, not not Djokovic, but Alcaraz. No, but I me, mean, I'm Fedra, Steven Nibani, oh. I'm a Fedra. <laughs> so capito. We are not having a conversation. Um, in fact, we've even, we've even signed our just laughing then and all that. So why not coaching, but this thing? Why not coaching? Coaching, yes. Oh, no, I think that, you see, you don't like coaching? It's not that when I was playing, my, 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 my plan is after football, I'll be a football agent. That oh, was okay. my plan. Oh. But when we travel to Egypt, I mean, being with the team, watching Kwesi Apia, and that's where I started to love to, to start getting interest in, 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 in coaching. Mm -hmm. But it looks as if there is a trend going on here in Ghana. Means that all the uh, former players should be coaches. No, we have other, other ways that we can, we can try and put ourselves by doing one or two, upgrading ourselves. So everybody coaching, yeah, we have the knowledge, but we have people who can be behind, but they still can 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 give advice or so you want to be a scout or an agent which no me i wanted to be an agent but i mean the world is involving now you can you can plan to do something but something else too will come and then you have to try and, and so you've changed you don't want to be an agent again no i said no you asked about coaching and yeah. that's why i'm saying no the agent but you can be an uh, uh, an agent you can be a football administrator as uh, administrator you can be a uh, uh, so which one would you do? So which one would no you do? Boy, Stephen Appiah, I always move slowly, low key. <laughs> you see, what's in there? It was. Hmm. Let me ask this question. It's a very personal question. Yeah. If you can choose to answer, you can choose not to answer. It's been more than a year I've been chasing you for this interview with that success. Yeah. It took Robert Coleman to get this interview. Is he your manager? Uh, Robert Coleman. Robert Coleman is not my manager. Robert Coleman is a family friend. I mean. Oh. You meet certain people, I mean, through friendship, and when you see their loyalty and the way they are, they become uh, a family. So Koma is a, it's a family to me. It's not, it's not just a friend. And I mean, about your question, uh, <laughs> it's true, you, you have been chasing me for, 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 for some time. More than a year. And it's more than a year, Kapit. Yeah, but times is good. That's why we are all sweating today. <laughs> yeah. And you're not in fact, difficult to get you to speak. Now, very difficult to get you to answer the questions too. No, it, it's not difficult because we are living in a, in a system where whatever I've said here, trust me, when the interview comes out, I haven't said anything negative, anything bad, but you will see people putting headlines. No, but it's, no, those, those headlines are very normal. No, that's why. But you see, even myself that day, at times someone can write something about me that I don't have the clue. But because we don't read the actual uh, 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 yeah, content, we just read the headlines and that's it. Then we believe that what they said is true. So even though we are smiling, it's a nice interview, we are just interacting, talking. You, I said you will see somebody will write something and then those who doesn't understand it, they will come to attack. Headline number one, Stephen Napier suggests that he was not well treated in his appointment. Yeah, 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 but <laughs> I think, you see, um, 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 those who are close yeah. to me, they know, I mean. I'm, but I'm, but I'm, Coleman I'm, is doing some great stuff. Uh, oh, one yeah, has yeah. to have one constituency. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you go around doing the whole thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm uh, his ambassador. I'm, oh, I see. Ah, no wonder. No wonder he was able to get you. <laughs> so what do you make of that one? Oh, well, I think, I think our brother, uh, uh, Mr. Koma, is doing, is, doing, is doing very, very well. People think that, before, people think that AstroTech, because of the, our, our climate here, is not, yeah. it's not, it's not, it's, yeah, it's not conducive. But I think that it's a good thing. I mean, if nothing at all, to 2021, when the uh, satellite won the trophy at Mauritius. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mauri sorry, yeah. sorry, Mauritania, sorry. All the pitches that they played on was Astro. Yeah, so just imagine we didn't have that facilities here. And people doesn't know the difference between the normal grass and the Astro. You have to get used to both uh, tests. So if we didn't have like the Astros and I know that they were playing. Yeah. No, sorry, they were training and playing some friendly games 
at Medina and uh, Magdan at uh, La. Yeah. So, I mean, that tells us that, I mean, our brother is doing a good job and you can see now he is the man. He is the man. I'm not, I'm a bit jealous about him, but he is the man. He is the man. You're jealous of your family, brother? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Not in, the, not in the bad way, in the good way. In a very good yeah. way. <laughs> Stephen Apia, former captain of the Black Stars, speaking to us here on Prime Take. We appreciate your company. Capito, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, my brother. Uh, after a year, uh, it's good. You finally spoke. Uh, it's good. I mean, you, 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 value, you value it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Very much. I, I, I really appreciate your okay, time. Thank you.